Welcome to the October edition of Global Viewpoint. The October issue of Global SMT magazine is available on our website, online, or making its way to your mailbox right now. This issue can be viewed by clicking on the link below or downloaded as a PDF. This month features SMT AI in Minneapolis and a preview of the upcoming SMTA Guadalajara exhibition in Mexico. My editorial this month was about the EU Chips Act and how it needs some joined up thinking. The EU Chips Act, of course, was passed into law on 25th July and is in danger of falling into the same trap as much of the other EU legislation where member countries are expected to implement and enforce legislation at a local level. While much of the EU environmental legislation sounds impressive, the problem is the system creates an uneven playing field where some member countries enforce the rules rigorously, while others, shall we say, take a siesta. The fundamental difference between Europe and the United States, uh, of course, is that when it comes to regulation, it is more... The fundamental difference between Europe and the United States when it comes to regulation is that for the most part, Europeans view it as part of their social conscience to obey the rules. Whereas in the United States, if you break the rules, you go to jail. So why does this matter when it applies to the European Chips Act? Like the Americans, most Europeans would agree that a secure supply chain for high-end electronics used in military, medical and aerospace is critical. But as has been said many times, it relies on the entire supply chain, not just the chips. With Europe accounting for only 5% of the world's PCB manufacturing capacity and a similar low number of OSATs, a more comprehensive plan is required. But it needs to be at a European level. And when I say that a European level, I mean it has to include the UK too, as a major manufacturer of military and other high-end electronics. The problem is that without some central organisation and enforcement of these policies, they will fall into the same usual quagmire of some countries obeying the rules and others ignoring them. Let's face it, it took the Ukrainian war to make the mighty German chancellery wake up to the fact that they needed to fulfil its obligations and spend 2% plus of its GDP on defence. Looking now at the Chinese situation, grasping the Chinese nettle. With regard to the current US-China trade war, it's in danger of getting out of hand. It needs to be ring-fenced simply to state that we do not share or sell technologies used in high-end military medical communications and aerospace. As for the rest of it, who cares? If the Chinese really want to waste time putting spy chips in my Roomba to measure my living room and send it back to Beijing, then have at it. In other words, we should choose the areas of critical importance to us and then leave the door open for normal forms of trading. This is important. China needs Western trade and we need China. Turning them into a pariah state is not only dangerous, it simply won't work. September was an amazingly busy month for Global SMT team. We will have a separate conference and show report coming out in the coming days. But till now, thank you for joining me.